I think at a minimum is to recognize that this is a difference of perfect squares. And that's going to be a7 minus x7 times a7 plus x7. Now, I realize that looks like a recognizable pattern, but let me go through it for you, okay? I'm going to go to the whiteboard, and uh, I'll write something down for you. All right, so I want to kind of remind you that we've done things like this before, but this, the seven might be eluding you, right? So let's write down, you know, certain ones for you. Let me write down if I did a cubed minus x cubed. And again, it's just to remind you of a pattern. You know what? I think I need more room than that. So let's put this over here. a cubed. No, that's not um, a cubed. I realize that. I'm just saying I've, I've seen patterns before. And what's this one over here? It's going to be a minus x times a squared plus ax plus x cubed. And then I'm going to put another one down. I'm going to put the ones that we've seen before, by the way. x5, I'm sorry, a5 minus x5. Well, it's got a pretty simple pattern to it. It's very similar to the one above it. It's going to be, what, a... 4 plus a cubed x plus a squared x squared plus a x cubed plus x4. And then I could write down a 7 minus x7. And these are patterns we've done before. You may not remember it, though. It's possible. A lot of times I have to remind myself of what I'm doing as well by writing things down to remind myself what I've done in the past. Well, what's that going to be? A6 plus A5 X plus A4 X squared plus A cubed X cubed plus A squared X4 plus a x5, plus x6, all right? Pretty simple patterns. So I'm gonna say, done. Now someone says, could you do the other one like that? Of course we can, all right? By doing it, you, know, you write down, well, I'm gonna write down the sums now. So I'm gonna write down a cubed, plus x cubed. That's gonna give you a plus x, and then you get a squared minus ax, plus x cubed. And then I can write down a5 plus x5. I think you get the idea over here. This would be a plus x. And again, very simplistic pattern, by the way. And what are you going to get over there? a4 minus a cubed x plus a squared x squared minus a cubed, uh, I'm sorry, ax cubed uh, plus x4. Uh, then you get a5, a7, I'm sorry, I'm going to odd powers, right? Plus x7, a plus x. I know it's tedious, by the way. And that's going to be what? a6 minus a5, x plus a4, x squared, uh, minus a cubed, uh, x cubed, plus a squared, x4, uh, minus a and then x5, and then, uh, let's see, uh, plus x6, all right? Let me just show you, you know, sort of like the patterns we're looking at over here. So, you know, minus, 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 plus, 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 plus. I'm seeing the ax, ax, ax. Let's talk about the pattern of the second guy. And looking at it, you know, this is three, two, one, none, five, four, three, two, one, none, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, none. You get the idea. That's a pattern we're looking for. All right. Now, certainly there's patterns on the X as well. And, you know, certainly looking at the three, uh, 
Whoops, I made a mistake already. I just noticed it. That should be a two. That's good that I'm looking. All right, so let me go for the patterns again. Two, one, none. This is a five. Four, three, two, one, none. This is seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, none. All right, you get the idea, all right? Now, certainly, I realize sometimes with signs, you can get a little confused this over here, but, you know, this over here, you know, everything over here, positive, positive, positive. And what's happening over here? Alternating signs, alternating signs, all right? So let's go um, back to the problem. This is just a discussion of old material, stuff that you might have forgotten. And you know what? It's okay to forget things. And it's okay to have to remind yourself, have to look things up again. Like, I, I can't remember or I can't re-derive. I look back over notes then, and that's nothing wrong with that. Right, let's go back over here, and we're at this stage over here. And what have we just discussed? We've discussed these things over here, all right? So let me point out what I mean by that. We've just discussed these two, right? We've just discussed those two. So instead of me writing them all over it again, you know, I realize, let's just take the, um, you know, one at a time. And let's do this one first, the, um, this one over here. And what's that one going to factor to? And let's go for it, all right? So it's going to be A minus X. Do I see that? I see it. And then it's going to be, let's go through this then. A6, I'm sorry, A6, A5. It's, it's positive, by the way. A4, A3, A2, A1, A none. And then the x's, x6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then none. All plus signs. So this one's done. Let's do the other one. What's the other one? This one over here. What's that going to be? Well, let's, let's outline it. It's going to be a plus x. I, did, I see, see that. And then I get alternating, right? a6 minus a5 plus a4 minus a3 plus a2 minus A1, and then no A's. And then the X's are going to go up. Six, I'm sorry, they're going to go down, going left to right. Six, five, four, three, two, one, none. Worked out beautifully. Now granted, you may not have remembered that. So I want to point out, a lot of times I can't remember stuff too. So let me erase this two up here. The very first step, this. This might be eluding you. If it is what I suggest you do, nothing wrong with it is a divide. Nothing wrong with it. Like for example, take this and take this, divide the a7 plus x7 by a plus x, divide a7 minus x7 by a minus x. What does that mean? I don't wanna go through the details, but if you did this, a plus x, and you divide it into a7, plus x7. There's nothing wrong with doing this either. What would you get? A6. What does that give you? A7 plus A6x. Then you subtract. What do you get? Minus A6 times x plus x7. What do you do now? You got to match it. I'm not going to do the whole thing for you. What's it going to be? Minus A5x. What would you get there? Minus a6, x minus a5, x squared, yada, yada, yada. Are you getting the same pattern? You'll get the same pattern, by the way. If that works for you, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with doing that either. All right? Thank you.